everybody, my name is Ruby Stewart. Welcome to another episode of Thought TV. Today I will be giving five tips on how to share Christ with others. So stay tuned. So, you might be wondering, how could I share Christ with others? Number one is to evangelize. It is so important that we share how Christ came, died, and rose again for everyone. Jesus said in Matthew 28 to go into all the world and share the gospel, which is the good news of Christ. So that's what we should be doing. Number two is to have a friendly conversation. Most of the time, people want to see normal. So just having an everyday conversation with somebody is the easiest way to just um, share Christ with them at any given moment. For example, I remember I was standing at an elevator one day and a woman walked over and I said, good morning. She said, good morning. How are you? I said, I'm blessed. And by me saying I'm blessed, that opened the door for me to share Christ with her. She was so intrigued and wanted to know more about this Christ and, and to know more about my faith in God. The third way we could share Christ is to invite others to come to church. I know the church building is closed right now. Well, at least some of them during the pandemic, but there are some that are still open. And even if there are none open in the area, you can invite people to small groups where it's a more intimate setting and some people are more comfortable that way. And we have to always remember, we are the church. Even if we have to do it by way of social media, on the internet, or even like I said, small groups, but just invite someone to church. The fourth way is to live a godly life. We have to remember, some people may never go to church or open the Bible. We may be the only representation of Christ. So by us living a godly way is a way we can introduce Christ to others. Now I'm not saying we live a life of perfection because I know I mess up a lot, but I try as best as I can to line up my life with the word of God. And many times we have to always try to be progressing. This is not about perfection, but progressing. So that is one way is to share Christ with people by the way we live. A lot of people may be saying, wow, you're just so positive. You're so loving. You're, you're, you like the unlikable. And they may wonder, I wonder what it is that make that person that way. That's an open door right there for you to share Christ with them just by the way you live your life. That's why it is so important that we're very mindful and careful how we live. Number five, the fifth way is to share our story or our testimony. God has delivered some of us so, from so many things. God has done so many things for us, like healed us, made ways for us, all type of things. I believe deeply he's done those things, not only for our best interest, but also that we may share it and be a living testimony to others so that others may have hope when they hear your story or they hear your testimony. And they say, well, if God has done it for you, if Christ brought you out of it, then he can do it for me too. So that is a way of sharing Christ with others by telling our testimony. So let me know down in the comments, how do you share Christ with others? And if any of the ways that I've already said you agree, write that in the comments as well. We're here to be helpers one of another. So those were the five tips that I have on how I even share Christ. And maybe you may choose one or all five, but any way you do it, always remember to share Christ with others. We share so that others could come to Christ as well. So if this video blessed you in any way, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can stay in the loop. I'll see you guys next week for Thought TV. Take care. Be blessed.